And now, Out of the Park presents crazy stories from around the world that are uh, crazy. Here's Matt and Barry. And crazy stories from around the world that are indeed crazy, Matt, are brought to you by Stirring Images. And if you visit stirringimages.com, you'll see that their artwork is convincingly realistic and they have just put up the out of the park print. Yes. The absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I am envious that it is here in OTP Studios. Gorgeous. Trying to find a place to put the lovely out of the park picture. As you can see, if you're watching the program, we have things all over the place, including our brand new out of the park Sessions. OTP Sessions banner, whom I'd like to give a personal thank you to Brian Leach for creating this logo and my good buddy Tom Campbell out in BC who printed it for us and shipped it here from BC where it now hangs on our wall. Everything good is out west. There's a lot of good things out west. Brian Leach. Yes. Your buddy with the with the Sessions logo thing. Right? Yes. Theo Fleury. Yes. Uh, now on to crazy stories. And uh, I don't know, is Quincy Jones from out west? Because I hope he's not, because that oh would boy. totally ruin everything that we're going to say. First of all... Can you just pump the brakes for a second? Should I go first? <sighs> yeah, it's probably a good idea. Because I feel like I'm going to have a picnic in the apocalypse. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will say there is a reason for yeah. the, the shirt yeah. Yeah. and for the album yeah. covers that are behind me. This is... Uh, Barry's switches are flipped. Uh, we talked about this earlier in the week, and I've actually been waiting to hear this. Okay, so I'm going to go light because we're going to probably burn the whole thing down in a minute. A woman was denied her emotional support peacock on a United flight recently. Wait, yeah, what? I'm not kidding. Okay. She has a peacock. Okay, so there's this new trend. What these creatures are called is emotional support creatures. So people have dogs. Oh, like your mind. I'm your emotional support. You're my creature. emotional right. support creature. Okay, that's fine. So what happens is, I'm assuming when people are dealing with a situation that they find stressful, they bring their cat or their dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this woman was stressed out about her flight, and decided that the only way that she could get through her flight was to bring her emotional support peacock. Why shouldn't she? Okay. Everyone has the right to that, don't they? I would imagine. The the choice of the animal raises a bunch of questions for me, but regardless, United says this animal did not meet the guidelines for a number of reasons, including its weight and size. We explained this to the customers on three separate occasions before they arrived at the airport. Now, there are cases of people bringing dogs and cats. In fact, most of the staff on the United flight said, we'll take a majestic peacock over the five plus dogs that have attacked myself and my coworkers just this past holiday season. The point being the bird was not allowed on the bird. That's, that's very clever, but it's not fair. <laughs> no. How would our pal Lorraine like it? If poor Otis was not allowed. Now Otis would probably make a lot of noise, right? But it'd be good noise. But Otis, Can you imagine is a, a big chant of Tulo on a flight. But imagine that. What if it was for those who are, are are new to the show? Otis is actually a talking parrot that one of our listeners has yeah. that says the most remarkable things. He does, and his owner, his mom, Lorraine, teaches him a number of sports related, specifically Blue Jays and Toronto Maple Leafs related things to say. Mm -hmm. Right? He says Tulo. He says actually, he says out of the park. He says Barry Davis. Uh, so anyway, the point being yes, is that what it, get to the point. The point you? is that. You probably would not have a problem bringing Frank on the plane with you to spring training you because mean the cat, the cat, who's Frankie, who's Frankie. Don't get don't okay. Don't I'm mess sorry. that up. I'm sorry. Frankie could come with you simply because he's not a peacock. He doesn't fan his tail out in a big frond or whatever that is when he, he's looking. He to does. Mate. He does other things that are very annoying. He does. Okay. Okay. Are you going to be all right with this? I want to get your views on this as well. Okay, okay, so if you missed it, legendary, and I use that term loosely, legendary record producer Quincy Jones. Okay, there's no doubting because I'm not going to be throwing sticks back at him. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no doubt about it. He's one of the best producers that's ever been. Described the Beatles, mm -hmm. the Fab Four, the best rock and roll band, the most influential musical act 
to ever grace this earth. He referred to them as the worst musicians in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, Quincy, I know you're getting a little up there in age. I don't know if maybe you stopped taking your meds. I don't know if dementia's trying to sit in a little bit. Or I don't know if maybe Paul McCartney did something to you or Ringo Starr did something to you. How dare you? How dare you attack the greatest musical act in history? And what did you say to me? What did you say to me, Matt, when I told you? Your, your rebuttal. Okay. My rebuttal specifically was Ringo related. Right. And what was the actual word that you said? Do you have it recorded? I don't remember what the actual word was. Oh, oh, you okay. should. Okay. By the way, look behind you. Uh, the, the poster if for those watching. Oh, yes. Okay. Thanks to my, my pal, John Johnstone, drummer okay. for the great U2 tribute band, Elevation, uh, gave me that poster. It has all the different Ringo drum kits. Okay. There are many people. Yes. In the drumming industry. Right. That feel that Ringo. Yes. Is overrated okay. as a drummer. Okay, stop. Overrated. Yes. Okay. So that's like saying Ryan Goins is overrated as a baseball player. You have to be rated to be overrated. No one thinks Ringo is good. No one ever says Ringo. The only person that ever says Ringo is a great drummer is John and Paul. Right. No one ever goes around praising him as being one of the best drummers of all time. So how can he be overrated? Okay. He's not overrated. Okay. He's not rated at all. Okay. Right. Is Ringo Starr as good of a drummer as you? Probably not. Okay. But what Ringo Starr did, he did well mm -hmm. for the band, for the type of music they were making. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Don't say he's overrated. Okay. You're only, you're only upset by this. You're only upset by this because you are an avid Beatles fan. You are. You're I'm being only very upset. objective. Here. No, you're not. You're absolutely not. Your bias is showing clearly. Look, here's the deal with Ringo. The problem was the the time period that he came out in. Yes. He was surrounded by potentially the greatest crop of drummers who cares ever grace. The point is you put as a comparison, as a comparison right. to his counterparts, to his peers. I'm not saying Ringo Starr was the best drummer on earth, but you put Keith Moon in the Beatles or John Bonham in the Beatles, the sound is not what it was supposed to be. I get it. I get it. Less is more sometimes. I totally get it. Look, you're talking about the opinions of a single person. Yes, and you refer to him as a, le you said a legendary, one of the greatest music producers ever. Yes. And then uh, I came back with Of all saying, time. So what would you call George Martin? George Martin never never produced an album that sold 120 million albums. He never produced an album Are that sold you a sure? 120 million albums. And you're referring Thriller to sold. Thriller? And and you're saying that Sgt. Pepper didn't sell as many as those? No, I actually have the numbers up right here, okay? Because I knew that we were going to get this. 32 million okay. copies. So let me ask Sergeant you this. Pepper sold. Let's talk about the number of copies of albums that George Martin produced that were sold compared to the amount of albums total that Quincy Jones produced. I don't have those numbers. Ah, in you don't have the numbers. I don't. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Hold up. Quincy, you know what? Oh boy. Your time has passed, Pally. Okay. He's 84 years old. Ah, perfect. let's give him. Okay. He's 84 years time old. Time to get to he's the home. Your mom's, he's your mom's age. My mom's actually older. Okay. My mom would never, never say that. Besmirch the Beatles. Or Tom Jones, for that matter. Okay. She loves him. All right.